Hello Aries, welcome to your February 2020 general reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle. Special welcome to my podcast listeners on Apple and Spotify. Let's get started. Fairy of the Highlands is your oracle card. It speaks of bravery. I often look at this card and I see brave heart. The feeling that I'm getting around it though is very two of swords. The way I'm feeling around this Aries is that for a long time you've been vacillating or considering a couple of different options, maybe seesawing back and forward and trying to find some kind of clarity so that you can make a choice or decision. But it tells me that this time of truce or stasis is over. It's time to speak your truth, be strong. So where there has been a feeling of being stuck and not being able to make a decision, perhaps maybe even burying your head in the sand or refusing to see a certain situation, I see you taking that blindfold off and I see you actually taking action. There's very strong energy around you Instead of, uh, I get for you Aries, recently people might have been taking advantage of a more peaceful time for Aries, where you have just been going about your daily business, going with the flow, but I think that there's someone around you who particularly has taken advantage of this, and, and this is you getting your back up here and saying, no more of that, please, I'm going to cut away any cords with anyone who has taken too much from me and you're ready to go into battle. There is a sadness around the card because you, it's not like you're looking for a fight, it's not that you're looking for uh, some kind of conflict here Aries, it's just that you can't allow sorrow and guilt to get in the way of your own self-protection. So the energy around you here is honouring yourself, raising your sword and not backing down particularly when it comes to anyone around you who is uh, taking advantage of a more gentler, kinder Aries. Freya. Freya is a Norse goddess. It speaks of irresistibility. Now Freya, of course, a very confident energy. And in the Norse myth, whenever she rode into battle, she received half the slain, and Odin, the other half. Her maidens were the Valkyries. Actually, even after death, men still wanted to be with her and fight alongside her. Freya was known for her wisdom as well as her irresistible nature, and Norse women sought her out for her blessings and advice on healing, magic and relationship matters. So there's strength here, there's confidence and a uh, irresistibility in that. It's not just about superficial feelings here or su superficial uh, attractiveness. This is getting beneath that. This is showing strength, purpose, confidence and courage and coming across a as very magnetic or attractive to other people because of that. There's a uh, proud energy around Freya, a very beautiful warrior woman standing proudly on the battlefield. Her hair is whipping around her. Her weapon is in her hand here, this sword. And she stands proudly, her head held high, and around her neck rests this magnificent gold and amber necklace. She's a deity with many talents, including war and witchcraft, but Freya is primarily considered a goddess of sexuality because of her independent and confident primal nature. So wow, it's either you, Aries, or you're dealing with someone like this. Uranus is the overall energy and Uranus itself is a big energy. Uranus is associated with the uh, primal Greek sky god of the same name. Very powerful human energy, uh, desire for freedom and individuality often comes up during this time. So I'm getting a sense around this breaking free, breaking out breaking free of restrictions, not allowing others to control you or to take advantage of a more gentler, kinder, kinder kind of Aries. So let's see where this goes. I'm going to uh, shuffle the cards here. At the bottom of the deck we've got the Sun card. So again it's you standing in this uh, light. A very confident light and you're shining. It's like you're a beacon to others here Aries 
And it's because you've stepped up. You've stepped up. I feel you're very strong in your manifestation here. Uh, I get growth. I get stepping into a, a fertile period. It's and it's becoming. It's coming across in this time of Aquarius season here in February, mainly because you're you're getting to the truth of the matter. You're cutting right to the truth of it. You're seeing things very, very clearly. The blindfold is way off. You're standing in your own truth. And it's the truth of who you are. A very individual kind of nature that I'm getting around you here, Aries, wanting to exert that individuality. And uh, certainly stepping away from any strong bonds, any codependent kind of energy. You're not gonna you're not gonna fool with it. So let's see. <clears throat> your energy here we have the uh, the seven of wands right in the center there's that warrior energy let's see what crosses you the king of wands beautiful you know i'm going to start with those two because i'm just getting such a sense of you here and the power within these cards is incredible freya you know i get a sense that by you stepping up here, it gives you this sense of regaining your power after a momentary loss. Well, let's, let's be honest, Aries don't lose their power very often. But for some of you Aries, I feel that you have recently. For whatever reason, I get it as being zapped or just being drained, losing a sense of that power because of someone around you who was draining that energy. Could have been a number of people. But there is this sense here of stepping up to the plate and standing very strong and confident and taking action. I don't think you've done it for a while, but I see you regaining this. And as a result, you've become very attractive to other people. So you're really stepping into your own power here and you're fighting back. You're not letting others back you down or back you into a corner. You are standing strong and you're standing very firm in your convictions, what you want, what you believe in. There's a lot of courage and strength around you. And you're ready to, you're ready to exert your influence in a, in a very powerful way, but not in, a, uh, not in a difficult way, meaning you're not doing this by way of trying to control or exert your your will over other people it's really just you standing up for yourself is what i'm getting a sense of here and a need to do it in a very confident powerful way but without any kind of aggression or lower vibrational negative kind of energy let's see what else we have here for you aries the two of pentacles so there's that uh, balance that delicate balance that you've been trying to maintain. The thing is you've been trying to maintain something for fear. I get it as fear of it going off the rails. So you've held on for dear life to something here and you've tried to keep everything going. For you, balance is important at the moment you're really fighting against any kind of strong currents here. I feel for you, the main thing is that you've been in this flow. You've been in this flow, not wanting to fight the current. And the current, I feel, is something around you. I get that there's two kind of, it's like a riptide. It, it's, the water is coming at you from different directions and it's causing it's causing you to be pulled under in some way Aries but the thing is if you let this go and stop fighting it you then come to more of a I want to say a more peaceful change in your life so when when it comes to this wand energy around you Aries and the thing with Aries of course it's, it's all about Mars energy it's all about fire power and how you use that power and when you're standing strong in your power you're very formidable 
quite intimidating actually and so you don't want to come across as too much wielding too much power over people I get a need to calm it down a little bit here you want you, you want to be magnetic you want to have this strength you want to have this confidence but you don't want to come across as arrogant or inflicting yourself upon other people we have the three of swords yeah I do think that for you when it comes to some pain some sorrow you know you know that you are doing the right thing for yourself I get that as very strong energy with this fairy of the highlands you know that you have to be brave you know you have to stand up for what you believe in and not allow others to steamroll over you but the thing is you, you don't like to cause people pain you, you don't want to cause heartbreak that's why you're trying to maintain this uh, this stability you really want to keep things as they are but I get the sense here that you've tried to do it that way and it doesn't work or it hasn't worked with a particular person and now it's ready it really it, it's really you getting to the point where you have to exert your power in a little bit more than what you have been but not in a uh, not in an aggressive way it, it's more about you just being very very firm with someone firm and strong and not allowing them to manipulate or try to back you down because I get that there's something that you really want to do Aries but there's someone or a group of people maybe I do have three here who are trying to exert their themselves over you they're trying to control your energy and you're very much got your, your sword up here and your shield and trying to deflect this this group or this individual from from what it is that, that you truly want here Aries but the thing is it seems to me that you're going to have to hurt somebody in order to to get what you want or to exert more of your individuality the five of cups in reverse you know I get you not wanting to live with regrets anymore I think that for you you may have put other people's needs before your own for a very long time and there's a feeling here of living with regrets I get that you don't want to do that anymore I feel for you you very much want to not have any more regrets at the end of your life it's it's kind of like going for your bucket list it's kind of that sense that I'm getting around you and you're really exerting this uh, powerful force of you know what I've always wanted to do this and I want to go and do it and I'm not going to let anyone back me down and if I have to hurt someone well so be it you know the thing is it's not that you're trying to hurt anyone it, it's just that it, there, there is going to be a, a little damage there around people that want to keep you where you are but I don't think there's any way around it you know you really just want to go for this and you have to be very brave and, and be willing to get that uh, metaphorical uh, sword out there and, and wield that power that uh, that power of yours that you haven't wielded for a very long time we have the ten of pentacles in reverse so it may be family questions of uh, family values uh, long-held traditions and beliefs here that are getting in the way of progress I get you have put a lot into this situation in the past could have been raising a family it could be a family business but you're wanting to exert your individuality and step away from this family and uh, be more of who you are authentically rather than as a collective as part of this group that's what they don't like Aries the Knight of Cups so you really want to follow your heart here Aries Wow for you this uh, this emotional charge is driving you something that you feel pulled towards I think that you haven't felt you haven't felt love or you haven't felt that 
that lovely kind of I want to call it being pulled by by your emotions that's how I'm sensing you yes there's passion here yes there's enthusiasm and drive and strength but emotionally I feel that's what's driving you here love love for someone love for something love for a cause love for a dream a goal any of those things but you're really pulled towards this and you're wanting to to step out and, and take some action towards achieving what it is that you truly love or, or who you love here Aries. we have the magician in the reverse yeah i get that there's someone here around you who could be trying to manipulate or showing you a side of themselves here where they are really doing something here to prevent you from going for what it is that you really want it's trickery they really want to keep you with them or I get it as this family group or someone within the family here who really just wants to keep you there with them and they don't want to see you moving on they don't want to see you moving away and they don't want to see you getting what you want and they're, they're trying some underhanded tricks here they're using whatever skill or talent they have in order to keep you where you're at now this could be of course money they may be using money as a means to keep you where you are they could be using uh, physicality uh, sensuality perhaps to keep you where you are they could also be using uh, love as well or what they think is love because I actually feel that if someone is using these underhanded tactics they could be using fear as well they could be uh, really playing on your fears and, and doubts and, and any kind of insecurities to, to stop you from from moving on from following your heart Aries who is that person now we also have the high priest I get that as your energy what I feel around you here is knowledge and understanding the feeling here is about gaining knowledge and wisdom about someone around you Aries this person who has been undermining you has been keeping you stuck I see this as you releasing this person after gaining some knowledge about them I think that you have a greater depth of understanding now that this is an individual who is preventing you from moving forward Aries I do and we have justice in the reverse and it's very unjust it's very unfair and you're fighting against this injustice the way that I'm feeling around this Aries is that you need to be very careful about this person I feel that they're a, um, a formidable opponent but they're they're playing dirty tricks and you're trying to fight fair with someone who's playing dirty Aries that's the thing now you don't want to stoop to their level obviously but the thing is this person seems to be in some kind of pain I get that they're working from a place of fear and uh, anger and uh, they're worried that you're leaving them behind or you're leaving the family here and moving off to to be on your own to do something that you you really want to do and the thing is it could be divorce of course so for some of you uh, not all of you but where there has been a sense of this person wanting to keep you I get you here now having the knowledge of this and uh, trying to get yourself out of this situation and needing to fight for for what you truly want but unfortunately I get a sense that this individual is going to try to block you and prevent this movement Aries which isn't fair at all I feel that you want to go towards something new with this ace of cups something that really calls to your heart it doesn't have to be a person it could be a dream a goal whatever it is but I want to clarify justice in reverse 
the seven of swords yeah you're gonna have to be a little bit uh, tricky here yourself Aries to get out of this if somebody's playing these these dirty tricks around you to keep you I think you have to to be a little bit stealthy yourself I get you needing to put forward a uh, a plan but keep it to yourself for a while or just keep it to people who uh, who you fully trust be really careful about who you reveal things to and reveal your ideas or your goals or your plans or wishes because not everyone around you is going to be happy that you're doing this. There may even be some jealousy and envy involved. Some people may see it as betrayal, whatever you're doing. So here you need to be a little bit uh, careful about who you reveal things to, keep things behind the scenes and put together a strategy a workable strategy to get yourself out of this situation so that you can go towards something that you uh, you really feel this emotional attachment to. Let's take a look at uh, some oracles here for the outcome. I'm going to pull one from the uh, the soul coaching oracle. Message for Aries please for February seems like you've got your work cut out for you you know but i feel that you're truly up to the task whoever's blocking you here i think that you're going to fight dirty handed tricks with something that is very solid and grounded and a practical plan and i feel that you're going to put all of these plans into motion when you're ready remember there's no rush here you can take your time with this so that you're fully ready to uh, to combat this other individual's energy or this family's energy here but you definitely don't want to live with any regrets you're fired up about something uh, you're standing very confident and uh, in this way i get a sense that you're attracting uh, or you will be attracting really good things towards you in the future in the future you have big dreams, uh, big changes ahead, big ambition, believe the best is yet to come. Wow, fantastic. Aries, that's fantastic energy. Believing that the best is yet to come, not feeling that uh, everything good has ever happened to you has happened in the past, not feeling that you are too this, that and the other, too old, too whatever to get uh, to get something good to to happen to you in the future this card is all about belief and believing in yourself having faith in magic and miracles if you can conceive it you can achieve it you know don't let other people drag you down and, and uh, make you feel that you can't your soul wants you to know that one of the secrets of the universe is the power of belief if you are able to imagine and truly believe that something can happen, miracles will unfold. Expectations can act in both positive and negative ways. We, we can manifest something that's positive or we can manifest something that is negative. And it all depends on how we choose to set our minds. Your fixed thoughts, you know, Aquarius is a fixed sign. So we're in the sign of Aquarius here in February. So Aries, when it comes to that fixed nature of February and the, and the Aquarius energy, you can use this uh, regarding your fixed thoughts and opinions about yourself and, and, and really look at change, changing those fixed thoughts, the things that you've always thought to be true. I get you really needing to reflect here and think about whether or not you've been telling yourself well i get some kind of limiting uh, story i but i feel that this is you breaking free of that prison of the mind so to speak those limitations that you've set for yourself if you've had something unpleasant in the in your history often that creates negative beliefs about yourself and even the world around you so the past doesn't need to equal the future and that goes for positive and negative so if you feel like all your positive experiences in the past that's not true if you feel that you've only ever had negative experiences and you can't have a positive experience in the future it's not true your new positive conceptions can create a fresh and exhilarating future 
simply believing that it's possible. Now visualize, imagine your life as you desire it to be. And most important, feel how good it will be. And then hang on, because the best is yet to come, Aries. Beautiful energy. So I'm going to leave it there and wish you all the very best. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe. Any, uh, any, anything you can do here, Aries, to get the word out on social media, I'd really appreciate that. So if you're enjoying these readings, uh, please make sure to share me on your uh, uh, social media platforms. That would really help me out greatly. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, and I'll show you my uh, list of prices. I wish you the best with this, Aries. Please take care. I've got my 2020 yearly forecast out as well. The link for that is in the box below. A thanks again to my podcast listeners on Apple and Spotify. Please make sure to check me out on YouTube as well. My YouTube channel is Gypsy Insights by Michelle, where you can view this reading. Wish you the best, Aries. Please take care and bye for now.